there's no doubt you can have a lot of fun on the Las Vegas Strip. But if you're looking for wide open spaces with a ton of recreational activities that you can choose from, you might want to go check out Lake Mead. Today we're going to be taking one of their hikes. We're getting ready to start the historic railroad trail at Lake Mead. We're going to be hiking about a total of three miles. Okay, so we're on the trail back over here. This is Lake Mead, and then I'm gonna turn you around here, and you can see behind me is part of the canyon that we're hiking along. What we're walking on here is part of the old railroad right away. Really pretty hike. So some railroad ties down here off the side of the trail. I don't think we'll find any railroad spikes or tie plates on this trail. These are concrete plugs. They're, it says on the slope below are some broken concrete plugs that were built as placeholders in the powerhouse floor at Hoover Dam. They were removed later when the turbines were installed to generate electricity. The final one was removed in 1961. It's kind of far. There's some railroad ties down there. Too far to hike down to. But you never know, you could find the treasures down there. It's too steep. I got down there. I would never get back up. There's the first tunnel that we came here to see. This is on the hike. This is tunnel number one. The reason why these tunnels are so tall is because they needed them that tall so they could get the equipment through. I just want to show everybody the inside of this tunnel. It's so cool. This is home to some bats during certain times of the year. They said thousands of bats migrate here. Very cool. You really can't tell how tall this is just from this shot. I don't know if you can. Let me see if I can turn you around. You can't really tell how tall it is. It's really tall. Really cool. Don't look the right. There's a rat. Where? We're right next to you. <laughs> Film it. Where is it? I don't know. Over I can... there. Where? Okay, we're exiting the first tunnel, and up ahead, you can see there's another tunnel. And I never did see whatever that squeaky mouse or rat was. Never did see it, but I could hear it scurrying around in there. That white stripe out there, they call that bathtub ring right out there. There's the harbor.
This says, notice the timbered framework along the vertical walls and ceiling in tunnel two. The tunnels are unusually large, 18 feet wide, 27 feet high. So trains could carry huge pieces of pipe and construction equipment to the dam site. Mexican free-tailed bat haven, a haven for bats. Like many other repeat park visitors, Mexican free-tailed bats migrate to the recreation area every year. You may see the bats hanging out in tunnels one, two, and three between May and early October. This is the inside of tunnel number two. This is tunnel number three, and you can see that it is fenced off. It's got a gate across it, just like all the message boards said. And we are not going to climb up and around. at tunnel three it's closed for repairs it's fenced off i know a lot of people go around it but we did not go around it fences are there for a reason so safety first hi <laughs> scared me. <laughs> I can't even see him. It's so dark in here. <laughs> All of a sudden, there was this little person sitting there. <laughs> this has been a, a fun hike, hasn't it? Very good. Very good. Old historic railroad trail. Oh, love railroads. Love railroad trails. <laughs> Everything about railroads. Yep. <laughs> fun hike. I recommend coming out here if you're in the area. Nice little hike. We'll talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.